Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. And on today's episode, we're searching for the ultimate vocal mic. So stick around. <laughs> So down here in the dungeon, we like to do things, well, I hate to say cheap, but we do like a bargain. I'm not a professional studio. I don't make any money uh, with my recordings, or at least very little. Uh, they're on the streaming services and things like that, and uh, I don't have a huge following. So whatever. It's fun. I like to do it. Uh, but when I'm recording my vocals, I struggle with microphones because I feel like because I'm purchasing very inexpensive microphones that maybe my vocals don't sound as good as they could. Um, you see all these professional studios using the Newman uh, vocal mics or vocal mics that are up into the thousands of dollars. And uh, I tend to purchase <laughs> microphones that are uh, $100 or less. So what I have here are some of my go-to uh, condenser microphones for vocals. And if you'll notice, uh, they're pretty heavy on the MXL brand. And these are actually very good microphones. I don't have anything negative to say about the MXL uh, microphones. I have MXL. This is a 770, which I bought uh, secondhand off of... Uh, uh, the Goodwill Auctions site, uh, as well as this one here, which is a V57M. These are this one particular one is discontinued, and they're called a large diaphragm mic, but they're, the diaphragm in them is actually I think three quarters of an inch or less than it, slightly less than an inch. And large diaphragm condenser microphones usually want a, a, the capsule size or whatever it's called to be uh, an inch or bigger so but these are decent microphones uh, I've also got a 2008 MXL 2008 uh, these are all these are this is the cardioid pattern cardioid pattern these are all cardioid patterns uh, the MXL 770 has uh, low frequency roll off, which is basically a high pass filter, I think. And then it's got a minus 10 dB pad. So if your switch, these are switches, so you can activate them or turn them off. Uh, I believe the pad is so if you're, you know, you're recording a drum or something like that, it's really loud. Uh, you use that to lower uh, the input. And then I have a Sterling Audio. ST51 Class A FET uh, condenser microphone. I haven't really used this yet. Uh, got this also secondhand off the Goodwill uh, Auctions website. I buy a lot of things from Reverb. I buy a lot of things from Goodwill Auctions. Goodwill Auctions can be hit or miss as to whether the product is in working order. <laughs> you get a lot of stuff that doesn't really actually work because the people to find people over there at uh, Goodwill uh, don't really have any way to test this stuff. They don't know. They're not, you know, schooled in, you know, musical equipment. So that's fine. You take that risk. Uh, sometimes you get a really good deal on things. Sometimes you don't. I think this Sterling Audio, actually, I had to resod or some, something on it. There was a short in it or something. It, it would come in and out. And then I have another uh, a dynamic microphone that I got from Goodwill also that I had to do some sort of repair work on. But anyway, so <laughs> that leads me to the point of this video. And that is that, uh, the other day I was, I decided, okay, I, I can't afford, well, I shouldn't say I can't afford. I just don't find it practical to purchase a microphone in the thousands of dollars range. In fact, I have a hard time coughing up the money for a microphone in the $200 range. Uh, I've been using the MXL microphones and then, so I had actually demoed a microphone from a company called Vanguard Audio and it was just a, you know, condenser microphone similar to uh, this MXL 2008. And uh, it was, I don't know, $250, beautiful microphone, well made, comes in a you know, wooden box and everything with the shock mount, I think it had a shock mount, microphone mount. And uh, I kind of did a side-by-side -side test between that one and 
one of my inexpensive MXLs and uh, I didn't see any hear any difference between the two and so I ended up because it was a demo it was like a loaner type thing you demoed it and then you could send it back or buy it and so I ended up sending it back and so I since then I haven't really been able to justify spending a ton of money on uh, microphones so you have the Newman uh, U47 and U87 microphones which are you know, sort of the gold standard of vocal microphones and they're like thousands of dollars so so oftentimes I'll do uh, Google searches for uh, U87 or U47 clones because there's a lot of people out there ma manufacturing sort of small manufacturers sort of craft <laughs> microphones if you will and they're making them and there's I know there's a, a guy in Australia that a friend of mine told me about that makes these really good microphones handmade and uh, you know they're only available at certain moments so if you get on their email list You'll get an email of when they're available, but they're I mean, they're under a thousand dollars, but they're up there. They're you know six seven hundred dollars, and so I haven't pulled the trigger on those yet. So, like I said the other day, I was doing a, a Google search on sort of the best U four seven U eight. I think it was U eight seven. I did a search for U eight seven clones because I I decided I was gonna try to find one. So I had you know a really good microphone really good vocal microphone because I'm going coming into winter and I want to record uh some more music and so this is what I discovered so this is what I ended up doing I uh get on Google of course and I search best U87 clone and of course you're presented with a lot of uh discussion groups that you can look at and a lot of sort of reviews and the reviews all seem to be sort of generic like they take uh sort of condensed reviews from amazon and then put them in there and they don't really actually do their own uh reviews some of them do some of them don't but so in the process of searching for these u87 clones i came across uh a posting in one of the discussion groups that mentioned a website called go to tools with a z and so i decided to check it out and i was pretty surprised what i found so this is the go to tools website uh and it claims you know i never watched this video so i have no idea uh what this guy is saying maybe i should watch it but anyway it's supposedly these are handmade uh, microphones that this particular guy here uh, makes these microphones as you can see this is an uh, TLM or, or whatever it is what's the uh, Newman I think it's TLM TLM yeah so that's the TLM style and then they have this is a GTZ87 so that's a U87 this is a U47 these are all sort of clones of uh, the Newman microphones and so if you go you go into our shop and you see some stuff that's just kind of weird kind of raises your eyebrows and you're like okay here's these that look like the Newman microphones but then down here I saw something there it is these limited edition microphones and right here limited edition GTZ 103 220 bucks but when you go and look at the picture it says Newman microphone <laughs> right on the picture and that's a that's clearly the Newman microphone logo so it's like hmm what's going what's going on here so but then so the website's kind of kind of confusing almost so if you go to this signature series which is his brand but that picture of the Newman microphone also said GTZ. So I'm assuming that's his. So now you go here and it shows a microphone with his logo, and the GoTo Tools name on it. So that's that's cool. Okay, fine. So then I, I'm looking through here and I see this sale on an 87 and a well, that's not it. 103. Yeah, the 103, the 87 and the 103. So that's a TLM clone 103 and a, a u87 clone 
So you go here, it's, it's, you know, he's got, it says normally listed for 349. And if you look, <laughs> this is cool. If you look at these two microphones side by side, if you were to buy them separately, this one's 240 bucks. This one's 300 bucks. And I don't know. See, these are, this is MSP. I don't even know what that means, but I think these, these, these are probably these. So, so anyway, 150 to 20 or 120. So that's 270. So you're almost a hundred dollars off on, on this. And then at the top, it gave you this code orders over 160 bucks. You get this, you, you get $40 off. And so I created an account, went to add to cart. Okay, added them, applied the coupon code, win, what was it, win 40? And it took $40 off. So $139. So then I went to check out. Watch this. Shipping, you put all your shipping information in there. Shipping turns out to be free. So you're getting two condenser microphones for $139 plus free shipping. So I'm like, hmm, <laughs> is this really legitimate? Uh, not so sure. So, and you can pay by PayPal too. So I paid by PayPal. So I, so I put all my information in, hit order. And what did I get? I got this. I got a shipping uh, order confirmation from this gentleman uh ian is his name and then i got a shipping confirmation with a tracking number and it says the label's created so it hasn't gone out yet but this is a holiday weekend this is, right now is thanksgiving i'm shooting this video on thanksgiving so i've got a tracking number so if it goes out monday i should have it I mean, he's in, he's in Brooklyn, New York. I'm in Michigan a couple days. So I should have it middle of next week. So <laughs> I'm really excited to see what these are. And uh, so anyway, I, I just thought that was cool. And uh, so as soon as I get these microphones, I'm going to open them up and uh, we're going to do a little test with them and see how they sound. Uh, it'd be cool if I could get a, my hands on an actual u87 or a tlm 103 to compare them to i don't know if i want to spend that kind of money just to do a mic shootout i'm just interested to see if these even sound remotely good compared to like the mxls because this is pretty dirt cheap so if these are good microphones i'm probably going to be purchasing some more from from ian because he's got quite a bit of stuff on his uh on his site here uh where else there, yeah they got a, he's got a black one he's got uh u87 he's got this one here i think is a uh, a uh two mic i th think no this one isn't but this is a four seven so that's a clone of a four seven but there's a tube mic in here too somewhere this in here and then they got some with upgraded capsules i don't rk47 i don't know if that's a vintage capsule there's a mic there's the tube so here's a tube mic oh and you get warranties for them too so there's a tube mic so i might get one of those and play that for 300 dollars for a tube mic that's a pretty good deal and i don't know what else he's got on here he's got some like pedals and stuff too but i don't know if those are things that he's made Maybe it says go to tools. So he's got some pedals in here, some cables, limited edition, sure SM, you know, so is he a dealer for sure? Or is that just a used or, or what? And then we've got some parts here. So yeah, so interesting. So we will continue this, uh, after my microphones show up and we'll see how they sound. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, it's been several days. Uh, I ordered these 
microphones on November 23rd. Uh, that was seven days ago, exactly a week. Uh, we had a holiday in there. The Thanksgiving uh, holiday was in there and, uh, and then a weekend. And so, and then the uh, shipment got delayed uh, through the post office. And uh, so I, I was able to pick it up today and uh, here it is. <laughs> so it's in a Walmart box, but it's got his uh, GoTo Tools logos on the front. So we're going to, I haven't opened it up yet. I just got home with it. And uh, so we're going to, we're going to check it out. Okay. So here it is. Okay. Packaged pretty well. Okay, oh. So they're in wooden boxes. That's pretty cool. Check that out. Okay, we got uh, a couple wooden boxes. Those are nice, nice boxes. And then, uh, all right, so we got shock mounts also. Okay, everything packed really well. Oops. One of his little plastic emblems. See that there? came off the box this one's got this one's got an emblem on it but this one doesn't so i think it lost its adhesive we can stick that back on later okay so let's check out these shock mounts first of all and these are pretty these are plastic so not not the greatest plastic whereas here's a shock mount that i got off of the internet made out of metal very nicely made but anyway that's that's fine because we're not recording with shock mount <laughs> we're using the microphone to record with so that's really what we're interested in boxes are pretty cool just a little poplar boxes and we'll open that up now here's your warranty card signed by ian there's a uh oh frequency response chart signed by ian ian is the manufacturer the guy that makes these in new york uh oh i like short mic cables because uh so you can see here I got this up on my desk and uh, I don't need a long cable for it. So it came with a short cable. That's kind of cool. I can always use a short cable. Okay. So this looks to be, this is the TLM uh, sort of clone. Yeah. Pretty nice. Look at that. There you go. You get up holes to it. Aluminum, probably aluminum housing. Nice screen. Feels good. Not super heavy. Can't really see the capsule inside of it to know how big it is. Looks to be a one inch capsule. All right, there's the DLM clone. Uh, be nice if the boxes had foam or something in them. Um, yeah, I suppose you could use the packaging, but uh, as far as keeping microphone in this, yeah, I probably won't. I'll probably get a soft padded bag for it or something. I got to remember, I paid less than, I think, $200 for both of these microphones. Let me double check my order info. Yeah, with, with the discounts, free shipping and a $40 off 
coupon code, I got two microphones for $139. So can't really complain about anything at that price point. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see. Now this is interesting. This mic doesn't even fit in this box. It is like crammed into this box. There we go. A little too big for that box. Okay, and this is the U87 U87 clone. Look at that. It's nice looking. Again, metal, all metal, housing. This one's pretty weighty. That one looks like it's got a pretty good sized capsule in it. So uh, let's uh, hook them up, see how they sound. So we will do, let's see, we'll try this bad boy first. This is the U87 clone, GTZ87, go-to tools. Uh, we'll put it in our, our metal shock mount that I've already got since it's already set up and we'll plug it in. Okay. And we'll turn on our 48 volts on our Volt 2, Universal Audio Volt 2 audio interface. And then we're going to pull up a Reaper session. Create a new track. Let's uh, actually share this screen. Input 1, I think, is where we're at. Already getting signal. Test 1, 2. There we go. Now we got audio. And it sounds, sounds pretty good, I think. I'll crank the, I mean, the, it sounds pretty good. I like it. I actually like it a lot. Check, 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 check. So we can probably turn it, there we go. We can turn it up in the uh, audio interface itself. And I've got the vintage button set on the Universal Audio Vault too. I'm gonna turn that to, turn that off. Didn't seem to make a difference. So anyway, test one, two. This is the GoTo Tools GTZ87. Cardioid pattern microphone, supposedly a large diaphragm. Microphone, I think we can go to their website here and pull up. Solid state condenser, cardioid pattern, frequency response. Max SPL 137, output and beans 200 ohms. Um, doesn't say what size the um, capsule is. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This is a, so I got two microphones, the U87 and the TL, T, TLM, T, oh, P48, TLM48. Uh, I got two microphones. For $139. So that's basically $69.50 per microphone. So here is a MXL 2008 microphone. And I'd say this definitely compares with that in audio quality. And this is about a $100 microphone. So I'd say Ian is making some pretty decent microphones uh, for the money. Uh, I'm not sure if he's def definitely making them by hand. Um, maybe he is, I don't know. But he's doing an awful good job. Uh, he's definitely not charging enough. So yeah, that's a good microphone. I, I think it sounds pretty decent for just a quick test. So let's switch over to the other one and see how that sounds. There, there we go. go. This, this is, is a very, very nice, nice mic. mic. I, think I think it sounds, sounds very good. good. Uh, I believe, believe this, this is, is a, also a cardioid, cardioid pattern microphone. And uh, yeah, it's quiet, sharp. I like the sharp, high high end to it. It doesn't have that. Uh, some condenser microphones they got a lot of bottom end. And your voice sounds like really, it's almost like the broadcaster voice. You get that really low, 
tone to it but this one's actually pretty crisp and sharp so i i like it i think it sounds really nice so uh yeah pretty good uh okay, okay let me take, take us back out, out of uh the, the reaper session there and so uh we'll put the lapel, lapel mic back, back on, on. And uh, let me turn this one off there. And uh, so there, there you have it. Those are two microphones from GoToTools with a Z. And uh, this fella's out of somewhere in New York. Um, and uh, I got two microphones um, with a discount coupon code. And they were on sale, the microphones were on sale and uh got them for less than two hundred dollars it was 139 dollars free shipping uh they came from new york and because of the holiday there was it was a little, it took a week to get them and i don't know you know what the story is on these microphones but i haven't seen any reviews or any any information about them and uh but i'm pretty impressed so i think what i'm going to do is uh, i'll do like a microphone shootout with these and some other microphones in a actual vocal recording uh setting uh so we can really get an idea of how well they perform but just on the surface these are pretty decent microphones for the price and uh, i'm not at all dissatisfied with them so uh thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time